Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing great from wherever you are watching this video from. Uh, this is Cadastro Survey in Kenya. And today I'll be showing you how to import points of a parcel from a survey plan to AutoCAD Civil 3D so that you can manipulate it and draw anything you'd want to include in the parcel. Maybe know the area, maybe subdivide and anything you want to do with the parcel. And for today's parcel, I'll be showing you how to import a parcel from a survey plan. This is a survey plan in Kenya. We'll be importing this parcel 2312 to AutoCAD Civil 3D. And for this tutorial, I'll be saying CAD to mean AutoCAD Civil 3D. So this um, survey plan does not have the coordinates of the G's, G, D36, G27, and G24. But I have the coordinate of L. Seven. I will use distance and bearing to get the coordinates of this from L7, from this coordinate here, unknown coordinate, because the others are not in this coordinate list. Now, I have done that. These are the coordinates. And now I have inserted the coordinates into a, an Excel sheet. And here they are. Let's open the Excel sheet. For you to import points on AutoCAD Civil 3D, they must be in this order. Point, nothing, easting, Z to mean height, and the description of the beacon. We can extend this uh, so that we can see the whole um, uh, coordinate. So this is the nothing, this is the easting. You can um, um, arrange them in the formats that are allowed by CAD to import. You can use maybe points, easting, uh, nothing, Z and B, but for me, I prefer using point nothing easting uh, Z to mean height and the description. So this is the beacons that we want to insert or the points we want to insert on card. For you to insert any Excel sheet on card, it must be closed. It must not be active here on the taskbar. So we will close our parcel number 2312 Excel sheet so that we can import it. I had already saved it, so I won't save it again. Now, um, I will open my card. This is how CAD looks like. And when you open it, it might be here. Start. You'll just click this plus. When you click a plus, it will add a drawing, for example. Now, uh, it will add a workspace called drawing 1, drawing 2, drawing 3. So we will use drawing 2. Now, anytime you open a drawing, the first thing you do is to set the units of the workspace. So you will just write units on the command line. Make sure the direction is clockwise. Make sure that this is stitched to clockwise and the direction is in the north direction because we measure angles or bearing from the north going uh, 360, all right, in a clockwise direction. Okay, and then apply, okay. So my workspace is ready for importation of points. For any card that you are using, for me, I'm using AutoCAD Civil 3D 2018, if you can see my cursor, there is these points here. You'll find for other cards, the points is in one of these bars here. But every card has these points. So click on the points. Then there is point creation tools. Click on it. There is this plus. We want to import points. It is the last one. So you will click on it. It will bring you to this um, page here. It says file name, selected files. Now you'll have to go and import the file that you wish to import to uh, this drawing you'll go i've saved them uh i've saved the excel sheet in my desktop or on my desktop now i'll click on it then i'll say open make sure that the file types is dot csv and not any other type then open then if you have opened correctly it should display the um points here now specify point for it point file format. The format we are using is this one, PNEZD. And when you look at this preview, you can see that they are arranged at point, nothing, easting, point elevation, and road description. Now, anytime you add a point or points, a group of points, make sure you describe the points you have added. For us, this is the cadastral boundary. Okay. Then okay. Then okay. Now, the points are already imported to my card. If you don't see them, there are two ways to do it. You can click this one that says zoom extends or on the command line, 
you can just write ZE and then enter. And then the coordinates will appear or the points you have imported will appear on the workspace. Now we can join them. And, uh, and there we have our parcel. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the channel to view more videos on the same.